sometimes when we were writing the songs, we used different words to, to fill in the blanks. And actually, this song wasn't called Hey Jude at all, but uh, it, it sounded something like this. Get nude. Take off your clothes. Let me see your naked body. The minute you show me some of your skin, then we'll begin to make some naughty. What's this tissue in your brassiere? It's clear, my dear. You're not the big busted bitch that drank with me. And where's your long and flowing hair? It's over there on my chair. You bolder than Bruce Willis was in 12 Monkeys. Na na. for me. Remember to completely cover your head and then we'll pretend you're Angelina Jolie, 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 Jolie. George and John. I miss him a lot. I don't miss Yoko at all. She was a bitch. In fact, she came, she, she was on this, this weird diet thing and she had John eating all these weird foods and vegetables and stuff. John was eating, he especially did not like to eat green peas. Oh my God. They gave him gas you wouldn't believe. And that's what leads us to this cut from CD number one on Beatles Anthology number 113. This is John Lennon, ladies and gentlemen. No one has ever heard this now in 37 years. <laughs> Number nine. <laughs> anyway, Beatles Anthology, number 113, also contains my tragic story of my urinary tract infection. <laughs> which I hope you'll bear with me and I'll share a little bit of it with you here tonight. <laughs> When I find myself standing in the bathroom Standing waiting patiently My prostate starts to act up Let me pee And in my hour of trying I made only two drops of sweet wee-wee I'm holding back an ocean Let me pee Sing with me Let me pee That there is nothing sadder Than a gent who just can't take a leak I blame my jumpy bladder Let me pee Then Dr. 
Dr. Mary stuck a catheter too Somewhere deep inside of me She relieved a blockage Now I can pee I can pee I can 